Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. Twelve ten p.m. on this beautiful Thursday afternoon, and right now it is time for some yum yums. Beets with turmeric and ginger. Sounds delicious, doesn't it? Let's find out. I'm so excited! Oh boy, here we go. It's also my favorite day of the week because it's Humera Day. Yay! Alright, guys. What do you say we get this party started? Let's do it. So excited, so excited. First things first, gotta get the L3 shaker. That's the first ingredient. Then, gotta get the mixer bowl. And then, you need a top, because if you don't shake it with a top, it doesn't work well. I actually got up at like five the other morning, and I made one of these, because beets are supposed to be a really good natural source of energy. And uh, yeah, I used the exact same shaker cup, and I forgot to close the top, and I was shaking in the bathroom, and uh, what do you know, when this stuff is mixed with water, it looks like blood, so. There was like uh, this purplish red liquid all over the bathroom floor mats and tub and sink and it was a good time. Definitely a good time. Anywho, step number two is, hold on, wait for it, wait for it, wait, come on, tripod, why are you messing with me, man? Fill her up with water. Pretty exciting step. There we go water and now step number i don't know what step we're on oh we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and say number two maybe it's number three i don't know doesn't really matter open the lid and still somewhat empty i'm about to need a refill get a nice little scoop and then i think you guys know what comes next boom all right let's seal this bad boy up put them away for later and now, my friends, comes the most exciting step. To be honest, I forgot which uh, step number we're on, so we'll just call it the most exciting step. Not making the same mistake twice, making sure it's closed all the way, and then we get a little shake. Oh man, it's not closed all the way. What the heck is wrong with this shaker? What is up, my dudes? Welcome to my, what is today, Thursday? And welcome to the video. Today, we are going to my three somewhat local Ross stores, and we're hopefully gonna find some good shoes slash sneakers. That's the goal. I might even hit up the Burlington that's next to the Ross and Ultima. But first things first, it's smoothie o'clock. So I'm gonna head to Planet Smoothie, get my smoothie on because you need a little fuel for this Ross run and then uh, we'll head to I'm in Sanford right now so we got a local Ross that's like right across the street almost from the smoothie place and then the second one is going to be the Lake Mary Ross which is like 10 minutes that way and then after that we got to hop on I-4 aka the highway in Orlando and go to Altamont Springs and hit up that Ross so we're gonna try and hit the trifecta it's 12 40 right now my goal is to be back by like back right where i'm at right now because my little man's school is right in this area so i'm gonna try and be back at 2 50 at the latest which means basic math we got about two hours to accomplish our mission of checking the box for all three rosses and in the meantime hopefully we'll find some good treasure in the form of, like I said, shoes or sneakers, or hey, maybe some more jerseys. We shall find out though. You never know until you go. So my friends, join me on the Ross journey and let's have some fun. But like I said, first things first, smoothie time. And there we go. Smoothie in hand, 
We can check that off the old to-do list. See how it tastes. Mm, mm, mm. That is a tasty smoothie. Delicious. And what's this thing called? I thought I was going to, what did I say? Planet smoothie? I was wrong. I was actually going to the king of smoothies and getting pretty much the only one I've ever had here, which is the Daily Warrior, because your boy's a warrior, and I'm trying to take over the world, aka accomplish things on the old GSD list. And this is gonna fuel that journey, hopefully. A little Daily Warrior with some probiotics thrown in. That, my friends, is the recipe for a good Ross run, slash maybe Burlington too, if we got time. We shall see. With that said, let's head to uh, Ross location number one, which is the Sanford Ross. Uh, let's roll. Oh, would you look at that. That silver car just pulled out and now we got some VIP parking. That's gotta be good luck, man. It just has to be. Now, I was already feeling optimistic about this Ross run. Now I'm feeling super good. I think we're gonna have a lucky day. Find some good treasure. Let's go find out. All right, my dudes. Ross, location number one, round one. Let's do this. All right, you guys let me know if you see anything good. Got some, what are these, Converse's? Yep. I saw something good over here. Where are the good shoes hiding, man? What are these? Interesting. This look like uh, these Jordans. Yup. These are the low tops. I'm almost positive I got these exact same shoes and high tops. Maybe a little bit different colorway. $64.99. Comparable value, $97. We'll come back to these guys. Got some fancy looking cleats. USA. USA. Maybe we might look those up too. But let's make sure there's nothing bad. Oh, this is what I saw when I walked in. Some Adidas, super colorful looking ones. So go ahead and look these dudes up real quick. Size 11. Let's see what we're working with price wise. $49.99, comparable value 98. I knew this looked familiar. This is why. Bro Williams. This might be a good find. Let's check it out. Man, the art number is hiding way down in there. AC7366. Well, I thought it'd be a good find. Looks like most of them are priced right around 70 and a couple have sold recently for right around 70 as well. I'm gonna try that again. 49.99, so it might be a decently easily flip for easy like 30 bucks. I don't know, Let's see if we can find anything better. Moving right along, what do we have down here? Reduced. I always like to see that pink tag. What are these? I thought they were hyperdunks for a second, but zoom live. Hmm. Uh, size 12. I guess we'll check them out real quick. Where's the art number on it? There we go. AJ7721604. Well, looks like another pass. Couldn't find too many listings, but what I did find looks like they're selling between 40 and 50 and Considering the $32.99, that's not too much of a profit. So, we'll pass on those. We have here some skate shoes, I'm thinking. Yep. All right, let's see what else we got. Some more of these red, white, and blue cleats. $29.99, comparable value, $105. Why not look them up, I suppose. Where's the art number hiding at? Where are you at, man? Where are you at? Always trying to hide from me. There we go. One two seven five four seven nine four one two. The lowest one is listed at seventy, and one sold for seventy, one sold for like eighty six. So for thirty bucks, I'd say that's a pretty solid flip. So I'm definitely gonna grab these. I haven't tried cleats before. What size of these elevens. So definitely grab these ones. Probably the other one as well. And we'll see how we do with cleats. So first find is in the books. All right, so, so far I have found three pairs of these Under Armour red, white, and blue cleats. We got a size 12, size 11, and size 9. 
checked them out. They all look good. No marks or anything. So, uh, I guess we're getting three of them. Let's see what else we got real quick before we head to the next Ross location. Man, I actually like these. These Steph Curry's. They don't resell for anything. They have, like, I swear I've seen, like, a hundred different colorways, though. I'm actually digging this one. Kind of surprised with Steph Curry being so popular that they don't seem to uh, be too popular. At least on eBay. This would be a really good find. I saw these a long time ago. Limited edition breast cancer awareness month, but they're a size 17, which is not going to be easy to resell. Cool shoes though, for sure. What are these and what the heck are these? Let's see what size they are. Size 13, I guess we'll look them up. I have no idea what they are. I don't know why they look like a mummy to me. Maybe it's the straps. No idea what they are. Let's check it out. Oh, I think that might be the LeBron logo right in there. That's my guess. Well, I, like I said, think these are hideous personally, but it seems like they actually resell for a lot more than I was thinking. The problem is with white shoes at like Ross or Marshalls. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you got some dirt right here and right here it looks like. That's always the problem. It seems like if shoes are all white and you find them like a Ross or Marshalls, most of the time, they're scuffed up or it looks like someone stepped on them or something so i would get them because it seems like they resell really well but probably not going to because of that whatever these guys are Let's see nike air dance to greatness don't know who that is victor cruz maybe maybe oh man front's looking a little bit rough that one looks all jacked up that one looks fine, man. Oh yeah, there we go, Air Cruise. Probably Victor Cruise. Let's check them out anyways, size 13. All right, so it looks like they resell for about 55 to upper 60s, and they want 64.99. So, I honestly don't think these look too bad. I kind of like them, maybe not the colorway. Definitely don't like that cream color. Don't hate the shoe though. These do look a little bit marked up though, just like the LeBrons. So, put those back. Are these the same LeBrons? Yeah. Um, uh, Nikes, or is it? I want to look up one more over here. Maybe these, probably not though. These look super cheap. Let's see what the price tag is on these dudes. $39.99, yeah, pass. Some Hyper Dunks, which, how big are these, 13? I sold those gold ones I had, or I'm sorry, the yellow ones I had really easily, and they sold really quick and sold for a good profit. But I think that was because it was a super rare color. I don't think the green ones, or many of the other colors, sell nearly as well unfortunately so kind of salty about these i thought it'd be a really good find especially with them being uh, the pharrell williams shoes but guess not so looks like we're moving on all right this is probably gonna be the last pair of kicks i'll look up before we move on to location number two once again i think these are pretty hideous but you know what they say different strokes for different folks so let's go ahead and check these out real quick what do you know just like the white mummy shoes these are also lebron's they want 54.99 and they resell for about 70 so pass for the last one at this location but i found these houston rocket timberlands actually found two sizes and they are kind of pricey for ross 69.99 i'm not really uh into timberlands myself but I know a lot of people are, and these are some pretty sweet looking Timberlands, I must say. Especially if you're a fan of the Houston Rockets. So, go ahead and look these up real quick. Well, looks like these might be a good find. Like I said, they're expensive for Ross, but a lot of them sold for well over 100. Like 120, 130, 140. Some of them even more than that, I think. So, we got a 9.5 and a 10.5. Let's make sure there's nothing wrong with them. Even though they are 70 bucks. Looks like I might be able to flip them for almost twice that, which is always what I'm looking to do. So as long as these check out, I think I might grab these two, along with those cleats. All right, guys, so here's the lineup. This is going to be our final haul for Ross store number one. I actually found another pair of these. So we got, I think, a, a 9, a 10, an 11, and a 12, and then two of those. So now i got to go find a cart, because I'm not an octopus, and I did not have a bunch of arms. This is without a doubt the most I've ever dropped at one raw store. Let's see what the total is. Where's every seat at? There we go. 278.14. But we got a lot of goods. We got how many pairs do we get? 
two of the Timberlands and four other cleats, I believe. The only thing that's kind of sketchy about these, both of them actually, they might be too big to fit in that USPS shoe box that I uh, ship most of my shoes in. Either way, we'll figure it out. I'd say it's worth the risk. Not really much of a risk, considering, like I always say, if they don't sell for whatever reason, you can always return them, as long as you keep this bad boy. Alright guys, well, I certainly wasn't planning on dropping that much money at one Rostor, almost 300 bones, but you know what they say, you gotta pay to play. So hopefully we can flip them relatively easy, make some good cheddar cheese, we shall find out. I got a lot of items I got lists on eBay between, I guess this weekend, maybe even a little bit today. I have like six jerseys, a shirt, like all those shoes I just got, I think one or two other pairs. So I got some work to do. A lot of pictures to take, a lot of products to list, but it's all part of the reselling game. Well, I also wasn't planning on being in there anywhere near that long. I don't know what time we went in there. I want to say it was right around one. It's now 1.53. Ugh, gotta be back in an hour. Yeah, we lost pretty much an hour there. Mm -hmm -hmm. I guess we'll head to the Ross in Lake Mary, even though that location is usually the worst one. But you never know. I have found at least one good find there. That might be it though. Who knows? I'll say we have pretty good luck at that store, like I thought we would after we got that VIP parking spot. So you never know. We might have some luck at the Lake Mary store as well. All right, guys, location two, Lake Mary. Let's roll. All right, guys, change plans. Had a little second to uh, contemplate my next move while I was waiting at a red light. And the new move is we're going to head to the Altamont location next. So I'm about to hop on I-4. Hopefully there's no traffic. If there's traffic, I might be in some trouble. It's 2.02 right now. I got 50 minutes to work with, or 55 minutes to work with at the most before I gotta pick a little man up. So this kind of seems like Mission Impossible, but we are gonna give it our best, 100% all in. We're gonna hit the next two stores with the quickness, or at least try to, so we can hit the trifecta, because that was the point of this whole video. I thought I had plenty of time, but I didn't expect there to be that much treasure or that many shoes to look up at location number one because usually that Sanford location is pretty dry and there's not much to be had. But looks like things have changed. I think it was all because that VIP spot. So here we go, I-4 time, let's go. is 217 and we made it to location number two technically it was supposed to be location number three the Altamont Springs Ross so what do you say we go check it out this Ross has been pretty kind to me in the past so I'm hoping it feels the same way about me today let's go find out all right first things first gotta head to the back of the store real quick so I can show you guys something look at that experience the treasure hunt Ross knows what's up I ain't even gonna make it out of the shirt. Got some maroon hyperdunks. I'm trying to get out of well, here. Like I said, most of the colors don't seem to sell for too much. What are these? Some LeBrons maybe? Maybe not. I don't know what these are. $64.99, comparable value 113 Maybe we'll look those up. Hmm. All right guys, let me know if you see anything good. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Think they'll have those same cleats here? I don't think so, I'm not seeing them. Or those Timberlands. What are those? Running shoes, maybe? What do you know? Some more Steph Curry's. I haven't seen these ones before, though. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Trying to make this as quick as possible. Oh, we got some Air Maxes. All right, we'll look these up. Always got to look up the Air Maxes. Let's right. see what we're working with. $49.99, comparable value $75. Let's see. All right, so it looks like these are listed for about $39.99 eBay, a ton of them. And Ross wants $49.99. So, not really in the business of losing money, so that's going to be a strong pass. Moving right along, super quick. You guys let me know if you see anything good. I'll appreciate it. Oh, some more stuff, guys. Gold ones. Interesting. What does it say? Anatomics. 
Eight and a half. That is tiny. I suppose we'll look these up real quick because I definitely haven't seen this colorway before. Well, what do you know? They don't seem to resell for too much. There's a ton of listings right at 50 bucks. Ross wants 35, so another pass. Well, we are almost at the end already. Where are these? Some Raches? Maybe. Maybe not. What are these? Hmm. This might be some Deion Sanders again, maybe. Saw seven uh, they're kids. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on those. I'm having the zero luck with selling kids' shoes. Actually, I take that back. I did sell one pair, but they took a while to sell, and I didn't really sell them for all too much. I actually kind of dig these ones. What size we're working with. Size 10. Come on. Show me size 10. Oh man, 9.5. So close. It's all right. I don't need to buy anything else for myself. I just grabbed these dudes from Reebok recently. First Reebok shoes I've ever owned. I actually kind of dig them, though, to be honest. Anyways, enough about my shoes. Back to business. Glad I drove all the way to the Altamont location for absolutely nothing. <sighs> well, that's a wrap for this location. At least it was super quick, but a whole lot of nothing here. The wall back there said experience the treasure hunt. I'm not experiencing any treasure, though. All right, guys. Good news, bad news. The bad news, as you guys just saw, took a gamble, drove to the Altamont location first, and it sucked, to say the least. Absolutely nothing. I didn't really have too much time there, so I was definitely in a hurry, trying to go as quick as I could. And then like 2.45 rolled around, I was like, all right, I gotta go. Because where I had to be at three was 15 minutes away at the best with traffic. We're doing bad news bears. Thankfully, this is the good news. Called my girlfriend and she was able to pick up Little Man. So that means we will be able to go to the original location number two. Now location number three, which is the Lake Mary location. So had really good luck at location number one, which was the Sanford location. Not so lucky at the Altamont location. So hopefully we saved the best for last and Lake Mary will have all kinds of treasure. With that said, it's time to go find out. So let's head that way. Well, we finally made it to location number three, the Lake Mary Ross. So hopefully we saved the best for last. Let's go check it out. Let the treasure hunt begin. First things first, starting off with the big boy sizes. Got some more hybrid ducks. I actually don't think I've ever seen oranges, which like I said earlier, the only ones I bought and resold were the, I think it was called like lemon yellow. And they'll sold for like, I think I sold them for like 95. You can see these ones are 40. That's probably what I paid for the yellow ones. But like I said, those ones are a really rare color. So it seems to me, I think the most common ones are like navy, blue, and uh, what else? Green maybe. And they don't really resell for nearly that much. The orange ones though, I don't know man. It's always harder to sell big sizes. And 14 is pretty big. We'll check it out anyways though. There's quite a few listings of these exact orange hyperdunks on eBay for like $58 and some change. So, just like I was saying, most colors don't really seem to resell for too much. Moving on. Seen these things about a million times. They don't sell for anything. I've been here for quite a while. So, have these Jordans. Seen these at a couple different Rosses. What the heck are these? Ugly. U G L Y, she ain't got no alibi, she ugly. $49.99, comparable value, 90 bucks. And it says ladies. Is that true? Maybe? Who knows? Moving on. Ooh. Got some Under Armour red, white, and blue soccer cleats. See if these sell decent like the football ones that we picked up earlier do. What do they want? $29.99? Well, I looked using the art number and I looked using pretty much every word that's on the shoe, like nitro, clutch fit, red, white, and blue, USA. <laughs> Couldn't find anything, nothing even similar, so I have no idea what these things resell for. I would have no idea even how to list them either because I don't know what they're called, unfortunately. So, back on the shelf they go. Moving right along, what do we have here? Under Armour, yup, some more Steph Curry, surprise, surprise. Man, this is not looking pretty. Oh, what do we have here? Some more Houston Rockets. Not really sure if I'm trying to get a third pair. These are a 10 and a half. I want to say one of the pairs I already grabbed at the first Ross. 
was a 10 and a half as well. So maybe if the two I have sell and they sell quick, I'll come back and grab these ones if they're still here for sure. But in the meantime, let's see if we can find something else. Not looking too promising. This Ross out of the three we went to definitely has the least amount of shoes for sure. And they usually, like I said, had the worst selection. And what do you know? The same is true today. Oh well, we came, we saw, we did not find. We did not conquer. All right, so before we go check out the shirts and jerseys, I got one question for you guys real quick. Who lives in the pineapple under the sea? Anyone? This guy. <laughs> Pretty sure I've said that in a video before. But if you didn't see that one, boom. Get a little SpongeBob in your day. All right, so I was walking over the shirt section and I noticed these dudes which I think are some pretty sweet looking Air Maxes. It's called, I think the, like, We Love Nike Special Edition. These things are sweet. And I'm in the kids section, as you guys can see, but on the tag right there, it says men's, $54.99, and then size six. So I thought maybe it was like a six Y, which is, I think stands for like six youth, but no, nah, just straight up six. I had no idea they made men's sizes that small which is a giant bummer because if these were a bigger size maybe like nine and up or ten and up they sell really good like a hundred and up easy there's a ton of these that have sold lately for like i said a hundred or more some sold for like 120 125 there's a lot listed for right around those prices as well but the small size is like there's like four or five and six all those ones are listed for like 75 and they want 55 so that's not much of a profit dang it man i wish these were a bigger size i like them and i know these would sell super easy if they were a smaller size i'd definitely get them for little man but size six i don't know that is so tiny you know what this size would be perfect for the ladies out there that's probably who would end up buying it a bit even though technically it says men's i don't know what size six is in girls but hmm, these are tempting as well but i think i'll leave them behind well it finally happened I Finally found some Project Rock gear. Not the best item in the world. I was hoping for a backpack or some shoes, but better than nothing. This thing's like a water bottle sleeve, I think. I looked it up and one just sold for 40. There's three listed at from like 35 to 40. And it is $14.99. So they call it a sack pack, but I looked it up. It says like Project Rock, canvas, water bottle sleeve, something like that. I'm just happy I finally found some Project Rock gear because I've been looking for months. So definitely pick this up. At least we found something at this Ross and I'm getting this for little man. Cause he's all about that hot wheel life. So glad we found something, I'm not going away empty handed. I'm gonna check out the shirt, see if there's any good jerseys and then it's probably gonna be a wrap. Oh yeah, looks like we finally found some luck. I walked over to where the jerseys are and look what I found. An old school from the 90s, Michigan Wolverines starter jersey. Number four is Chris Webber, I believe. I should know, I'm a Michigan fan. This is awesome. This is like straight out of the 90s. They haven't made these jerseys in forever, as far as I know. And the only ones listed on eBay are pre-owned. There was one that sold recently that was brand new and it sold for like 90 bucks. Does look like we got a little something going on right there though. Hmm, what price are we looking at? $19.99. See if there's any more stains or black marks, or whatever that is. Man, looks like there's something on the back too, right there. Man, come on, I got super excited. What the heck is this? Got something down here, got something right there. Come on, man, it's like a shoe print or something. What the heck is it? All right, so still excited that I found this. Not quite as excited though. Still, like I said, the one that sold that was brand new sold for 90 bucks and they want 20, so. I'm gonna take this one up to the front, see if they can do anything for me with the discount. If not, I'm probably not gonna get it just because all these stains. But if I do get a discount, I'll definitely pick it up. So let's go find out. Well, I was on my way to go check out. I figured why not check out the ladies section real quick. And looky, looky what I found. Some ladies raches. $49.99, comparable value 105. These are like a, I don't know what they're called. Obviously, I think they're like camo pink raches. And as you guys can see, there's two recently that sold for 90 bucks and they want 50 so almost double and the ones listed on ebay right now range from like i think like 100 to 140 and there's only three of them let's see what size this is size six yeah kind of small just kidding the tags are on size 7.5 all right so that's a lot better as long as these things look good no marks or anything definitely picking these up too man just when I thought we we're gonna find zero treasure at this Ross. We're running all kinds of stuff now. Looks like we're back on the good luck train. I like it. All right, they look pretty, 
pretty clean. So we'll grab these guys. Well, my friends, that is officially a wrap for our Ross journey, at least for today. Three stores, spent over 300 bucks, but I think we found some pretty good treasure. I did end up getting that Michigan jersey. She gave me 10% off, which took like, I don't know, a couple bucks off the uh, whatever it was. I can't remember if it was 15 or 20. I think it was 20, so ended up being 18. Uh, yeah, I'd say all in all, pretty good day. Not mad about it. Didn't think I'd spend anywhere near that much, but hey. If you can't sell it, you return it. So like I always say, there's pretty much no risk. We got quite a few bags though. Definitely the most I've ever grabbed from Ross in one day. But all in all, good day. I'm happy about it. Got some good finds. Hopefully we'll make some good profits. So with that said, it's been a long day. So my friends, it's time to head it home. That's all folks. Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed Those knots, thank God, you were only make-believe Those